Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Mel W37 and today I am bringing you how to upload a Tempest Box world onto Realms. The Tempest Box has been updated and it is now no longer beta or alpha and there are some different things to do this time when you are trying to uh, upload it to Realms and, and you're trying to put the Tempest Box into a world. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to load Minecraft 1.11.2. We're going to create a single player world, okay? So, or you could use a world that you already have that you like. So we're going to name this Tempest Box Update, because this is the update. Then we're gonna allow cheats on, create new world, because you wanna have cheats on because you need command blocks. So, oh wow, okay. Poor little fellas, they're dying because they spawned inside the blocks. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a really cool spot to, wow, there's a lot of llamas. Mm, take that, don't kill me. Don't spit at me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set world spawn because I kinda want the Tempest Box to be um, protected. Set world spawn. All right, so now let's get out of here. Save and quit. We're gonna quit the game and we are going to download the file. All right, here's the website for the Tempest Box. I'll leave the link in the description. And you guys can read all of this cool stuff. It comes with eight new magic machines. If you haven't heard of the Tempest Box before, or watched my previous video. Uh, 10 staffs, it's got 10 plus new structures in it. Uh, it adds 16 new creatures to the game. Trillions of combination of gems are possible. Uh, you can level up your diamond gear with uh, higher enchantments. Um, here's all the stuff about it. Please uh, subscribe to this awesome team of people that have made this possible and please donate if you can. And here's their installation video. It doesn't include the uploading to your realms world. They're, basically they're just talking about single player when they're talking about the Tempest blocks, but I found a way to upload it to realms and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So we're not gonna do the world download and we're gonna do the resource download. So click on resource download brings you to this window or this video here. Uh, we don't need to watch that. We need to go to show more and then download resources. It's a Mediafire file and it brings this up here. You click on the green button and put it where you want it on your computer. Okay, I'm going to put it in here and save it there. Now don't click on any of these windows. Sometimes they can be like this one. No, this is not a good window. Don't click on any of that stuff. Everybody needs to have a good virus protection software program and a malware protection program. Because if you don't, you can get nasty stuff by downloading things off the internet. I go to CNET downloads to download. Uh, I have Avast and I also have malware bytes and they work really well. I suggest you get something like that too. Uh, click out of this. Now you're going to want to search for a file on your computer. So you're going to do percentage app data percentage enter. You're going to go to your dot Minecraft and then you're going to go to your saves file. This is all your saved worlds and you're going to look for the world that you just created called the Tempest Box Update. That's what I named mine anyway. Then you're going to go to the Tempest Box file that you downloaded. Okay, which is here, and you're going to want to unzip it, which means you're going to need a, you're going to need a software program that will extract zipped files for you. I use 7-zip, but you can use whatever you want. There's a lot of free ones out on the internet. Be careful when you're downloading it. Extract all. It will extract it into the same file that, or folder that it's in. You're going to want the data, the structures, and the icon. 
resources is actually the resource pack that you're going to need, but we're going to have to put that in a different folder. So for now, we are going to go to our world, which is right here, Tempest Box, which was in our .minecraft folder and our saves folder. We're going to go to the Tempest Box update world. This is the guts of the world. And we're going to take data using control. We're going to highlight data structures and icon. We are going to left click and drag and drop them into this world. Replace the files that are in the destination. Okay, now it's all set. The Tempest Box should be working in this world. Okay, the single player world we created. Now you can get out of this, okay? And now we need to drop the resource pack into our resource pack file, or I'm sorry, into our resource pack folder. So we're gonna need to go back into Minecraft, okay? Here's the launcher. We need to launch 1.11.2. Okay. Then we're gonna go into options. Okay, options, then resource packs, then open resource pack folder. Okay, and it opens this folder for us. All right, so this is the, the folder with all of our resource packs in it. I have a lot, I know. You're gonna take the resource pack file from the Tempest box that you still have remaining, and you're gonna drag and drop it into the .minecraft folder for your resource packs that you just opened up. Okay, click out of both of these, bring up Minecraft, hit done because it's not going to show up right away, then go back into your resource packs and it should be here. There it is, it says TTB. Make sure it says TTB in the picture and you're good to go. Click the over arrow so you can put it in your selected resource packs, hit done. And that is that. Hit done. Now, we're going to go into single player and check if this is working. Yep, look. The files that you put into your world folder is the Tempest box will work because it says TTB in the picture right here. That's how you know it's working. Double click on this because we're going to need to spawn the structure in. Okay. Now this is where we spawn with the llamas over here. And we're going to need to spawn our structure. So you're going to need to go into game Game mode, sorry I can't type today. Game mode one, creative. You're gonna need to give yourself, I'm Mrs. Mel W, of course, 37. So use your in game name. Type M, hit tab, it'll bring Minecraft colon up. Then you're gonna need to STR for structure, hit tab again hit it again and it'll bring up the structure block. So this is the exact command that you need to give yourself in order to give yourself a structure block. There you go, got a structure block, place it, okay? Then right click it and now it's in data mode but you need to use this D in the brackets down here, this button. Uh, click it twice to get to load mode and you're gonna need to type in for the name TTB, capital, relative position one, zero <laughs> I can hear those llamas <laughs> they talk weird and one and then you're gonna need to turn entities on hit the load button and then it, you can see where it's gonna be loaded you can see the outline sorry llama you're gonna probably die when I do this hit load again move out of the way llama seriously llamas <gasps> baby llama sorry but it is what it is so now it's loaded up, right? And you could see in the chat that it's successful. You can see all this stuff right here in the chat. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into game mode three, which is spectator mode. And you are going to go up here and see if it's working correctly. Now look, the resource pack is working. And the reason why you can tell is because you could see the mage. If you have the resource pack turned on, you should be able to see the mage here. And the loot tables are active, so everything's good. You can read all this stuff, how to make the music louder, how to use the, chat uh, the, chat the chunk saver staff. Wow, that's really hard to say. And there's a message for opt people, okay? I like to disable mob griefing. I also like to enable the music, which is kind of fun. You see that over there? You could disable or enable music. Pretty cool. 
Now you're going to have to go back into spectator mode in order to get out of here. You can also kind of get in here and look at the uh, command blocks. Look at all these. Isn't that amazing? I am amazed by this. Alright, let's get down here. And you can also tell that the texture pack is working because you could see this sign. It doesn't look like a bunch of item frames with tools in it. You can actually see the sign. Alright, there you go. Hey, buddy. Oh, looks like one of you might have died. And it is working, so you can go ahead and slap that sucker so it turns it, you know, gets rid of those lines and stuff. You don't need that anymore, and you're going to get out of here, and you're going to save and quit to title. Now, here's the good part. The good part is now we're going to upload it to Realms, okay? Boom. Go to this little wrench. Click on the world that you want. I want the first one here. And it already says Tempest Box. Make sure in the World Options it says Command Blocks On. Okay. Then you're going to go to Reset World, Upload World. We're going to upload the single player world that I have called Tempest Box Update. And that's the one we just put the Tempest Box in with the Structure Block. Upload. Boom. It's easy as that to upload the worlds that you want. And you can tweak any world you want. Not only with the Tempest Box, but you could tweak it with whatever, if you, you know, create something in the world, you can upload it to Realms. Um, say you want to get a world off of planetminecraft.net, uh, you can upload that world. You can upload anything you want. It's freaking awesome. Done. Now, unfortunately, this does not work with Minecraft Pocket Edition or Windows 10 version because the Tempest box needs command blocks in order to run, and those two versions of Minecraft Realms do not allow for, for command blocks, unfortunately. So this is just for Minecraft PC version. All right, let's check it out. Let's go on here and see if everything's going well. Yep, looking good. And because it's green, let's go into game mode one. Because the outsides are green here, that means that everything is enabled. See all this green? It changes. I'm pretty sure it changes when you disable. Maybe it doesn't. Well, anyway, um, I believe I, you have to probably do that in single player and then re-upload the world. But anyway, you kind of see what's going on here. I'm not sure why base module looks to be disabled, but maybe it's not. Anyway, you can do some tweaking of it and see what works, see what doesn't work. As you can see, we can still see the mage and you can still see my settings are there. So anyway, that's how you upload two realms and that is how you create and put the Tempest box into a single player world and then upload it to realms. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like this video if it has helped you. Please comment if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them. I'm sorry this doesn't work on Minecraft Pocket Edition or Windows 10 version, but um, hopefully my Mojang will be, my Microsoft will be changing that soon. We'll see. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.